All right, guys, now we're gonna take a look at an Uncle Mike's holster, which is a size 15. This will fit any medium to basically a full-framed auto pistol. This will fit my Glock 22, as well as my H&K USP 40 compact. Basically, you get a non-printing holster for a full-framed handgun. Very comfortable, you can ride in the car with these, not a problem. This retention device on here is not very good. It's, it's kind of flimsy, and that's the only downside of these holsters, but again, you're worried about concealment, you wanna make sure you're not printing. These will not print at all. With these fabric holsters that sit in the pants, you're gonna trade speed for comfort and non-printing holster. You can see I'm wearing a full frame Glock 22 here. You can see that the printing from the front, rather minimal, this is a full frame handgun. From the side, the only thing you gotta worry about is your magazine, and I am running a magazine with an extender on it. So if you got a flat bottom mag, it's not nearly as bad, obviously. So we're gonna run this drill, show you again, you're gonna trade a little bit of the concealment for the speed. You can see, it takes a little bit of time to reseat this gun in the holster. You also, while using a Glock or any striker fire pistol, need to make sure that you don't have a clump of your shirt. Uh, you know, you're wearing a jacket, you get one of the pull strings or the zipper put down in there. If that gets into the trigger guard here and you try and seat this gun in the holster, you will end up shooting yourself. Be mindful of that. You don't want to have to engage somebody, holster your gun, and then you've inflicted a gunshot wound on yourself and have to be rushed to the hospital. Make sure that you take the time to reseat it. Look down. If you, if you have to assess the situation, say you had to employ this thing and you engage a target, make sure that threat is neutralized. Hit the target, make sure it's down. Take that extra second, pull the shirt out of the way. When you come out with the gun, you're gonna pull the shirt out of the way, pinch it while you're still looking up. You still have the gun at the high ready here. You can, you can start engaging from here. People do it all the time. This is not an, a hard thing to do to, to get shots down range and keep somebody down if they need to be. Pinch that holster with that thumb Take that second to look down. Make sure it's seated in there. Holster the gun, shirt goes back over. Get out of there. All right guys, now we're gonna be looking at the Uncle Mike's holster with the HUK USP Compact 40. You can see it sits pretty low down in this holster, which again, you're gonna trade that speed for the concealment. When the shirt goes over it, printing from the side, very minimal. From the front, next to nothing. Be mindful of it, keep your arm down on it, you have no problem. The only difference from a full frame Glock or an H&K compared to the compact is, you can see how low that sits and you have a little less handle to grab, so you really gotta make sure that you get your hand up tight in there. So we'll demo this for you and I'll show you that you're gonna trade a little speed for concealment and comfort. Decock it if you have to, put the safety on, then you can assess the situation out here. That's the one benefit of using a gun that has a manual thumb safety on it. When you're done engaging targets, you can engage, pop, 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 decock the gun while you're still assessing, flip the safety up from here, now you can pinch it, holster the gun. If you safety the gun and you're coming down and somebody comes back up, it's simply this, you're back out, you get your positive grip, you start engaging again. Safety goes on, don't have to worry about clothes or anything getting in the way. You reholster the gun the same way, pinch that holster, pull it apart. Very easy, shirt goes back over, no printing. I highly recommend the Uncle Mike's for everyday carry. They're very comfortable, they're very lightweight, and they conceal the gun very well. Get out, practice with your concealed holsters. Very important to make you an overall better shooter with them and make you more confident if the day ever does come up that you have to draw your pistol. All right guys, so now we've demoed this holster for you. You could see that printing was very limited. It was very comfortable for me to wear. You can wear this while in the car, but you do lack speed and good grip while drawing this gun out of this holster. You have to keep that in mind. Always take the stuff that you're gonna carry your gun in out and train with it. It will make you more confident and it'll make you a better shooter with the products that you're utilizing daily. Um, I highly recommend these. These will run you like 12 bucks from Cheaper Than Dirt uh, I believe Midway USA has them as well, 
Blackhawk makes a similar version to this. I have never used it, but it looks like it's almost the same pattern. So make sure that you practice with these holsters because they are a little slow. But I, I do recommend this. I carry this daily. Very good holster.